Hello, ladies. My name is Angela from Angela Simpson Functional Medicine, and I'm a functional medicine practitioner that has a passion for helping women learn how to rebalance their health as they get into their late 30s, early 40s, and beyond, and they're starting to notice changes to their hormones and some symptoms coming up, and they don't know what to do about it. I want to let you know there is a lot you can do about it. The amount of research that is just continuing to emerge for women's health is nothing but good news for us. And we don't have to just survive and put up with suffering towards and into that transition into menopause. There's so much that we can do. And I like to share with women as much as I can, the natural strategies, things that you can take on and start to put in place right away to start getting you feeling better. And today I want to talk about one of the most common symptoms for women is they move towards some of these changes with their hormones in their late thirties, early forties and beyond. And that has to do with mood changes. Many women do report at certain points in their cycle, especially as you get into your late 30s, early 40s, that you may be having some mood fluctuations and you're starting to notice them more consistently at certain points in your cycle. So this is common as estrogen and progesterone and testosterone levels lower. They do actually get lower right before your period, lower than they probably used to be in your 20s and early to mid 30s. So this actually can result in some mood changes. Some women will feel a bit more low as they go through that transition from ovulation towards having your cycle. And some women, as they get very close to their period, feel both low, not motivated, more towards that feeling a bit depressed, but also potentially feeling more anxious, more jittery, more panicked, not able to focus that well, um, fearful of things that you really never have been. And along with this, often you do feel a bit more irritable and snappy. And this can really impact people around you, yourself, your loved ones. You may be not having great interactions with a partner if you have one. You may be, if you have family, kids around the house, you may be snapping at them more, possibly yelling. You may be breaking down sometimes and feeling sad or crying and just not even really knowing why you're responding the way you are to something that really shouldn't seem like that big of a deal. And sometimes you can feel really like it's an emotional roller coaster and almost like you're just an absolute mess. Some women tell me they feel like, I'm wondering if I'm kind of going crazy. I'm just all over the place with my moods. And this can get worse and worse as you get into that later perimenopausal shift towards menopause. So more so towards your late forties and early fifties, because the hormones are continuing to lower and change and fluctuate, and it can result in more and more mood swings. However, I do want to let you know that even if this does feel like it's potentially happening to you, you don't necessarily have to have it continue. There are ways to help you with this, and there are some great natural strategies available to you. So one of the things I always like to make sure that you are addressing because sometimes women will say, well, if it's related to my lowering and changing hormones, then why don't I just bring some hormones in and it's going to make me feel better. For some women, this can be helpful. For some women, they will bring in, for example, a low dose bioidentical or non-bioidentical progesterone to help them with mood changes in the back half of their cycle, meaning the last two weeks leading up to your period. And some women do notice some nice positive changes with this, but there are also some women, and especially these are women that I often work with, that they have tried this and it actually didn't help them and it made them feel worse. They were more moody. They didn't feel good. They gained weight and they just generally didn't feel that well. And it actually made them feel even more anxious. So this is not necessarily a solution for everyone. So don't just assume because your female sex hormones and male testosterone are lowering that the solution is automatically going to be to add hormone replacement. Like I said, for some women, it can be helpful for some women it's not. And so we need to understand why this could be happening, why you potentially are so symptomatic with your moods and what you could do and some strategies you could put in place right away. I know this too, from having personal challenges challenges with mood balance, especially at particular points in my cycle. And I had those for many, many years until I actually figured out the root cause of why I was having these mood swings right in timing with certain points of my cycle. And it actually had to do with how my body was processing hormones. It actually wasn't related necessarily to the levels. So this is common for many women as they move towards and into menopause is the hormones are out of balance. They're not only lowering, but they're actually lowering at an uneven rate. And for some women, this is more extreme if you don't have balance in other areas of your body, other systems of the body. So the most common areas to be out of balance in our bodies as females has to do with our adrenals, 
our liver and our gut. These three areas are absolutely essential and really important for us to have in balance to help us with our hormone balance as we move towards and into menopause. And if those areas of our body are out of balance, those systems, our hormones really will never have a chance of rebalancing, even if you are using things like HRT or not. We need to have all the systems working together to help you get the balance back in your moods. I want to give you some quick tips for how you could potentially look at natural ways, natural strategies you could put in place right away. These things that could be right at your fingertips for starting to get your adrenals, your gut, and your liver back into balance. And again, the reason for this is because it helps you to balance those hormones as they move towards and into menopause on that lowering pathway. And that can help to balance your moods. Balanced hormones typically will equate to more balanced moods. So I actually do have right beside me here right now, something that I'm eating for lunch, a part of it anyways. And you can see this is a bowl full of greens. And I do have a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of apple cider vinegar on there um, just to help with flavor and also to help absorb the nutrients. You need some healthy fats coming in to combine with those greens. So that's a very simple, easy thing that most people can do. You don't have to make some sort of elaborate salad and take a bunch of time. If you do have the option of having fresh local greens, great, that are non-sprayed, they don't have herbs besides pesticides, it maybe comes from a local farm, it might even come from your backyard if you like growing things in your garden and you have the space. But what is that? It's arugula. So what arugula is, it's a plant that most people will use as a salad. You can definitely use it other ways too, but most people use it that way. And it's a bitter green. So bitter greens help us support liver detoxification. And again, this is an area that's really important for hormone health and balance for women as the female sex hormones, especially estrogen, are lowering because they don't necessarily just lower at an even rate. Estrogen lowers at a rate that's almost like it's going up and down on a roller coaster. And so our liver actually has to buffer these big rises and falls of estrogen on the way down towards and into menopause. And sometimes these fluctuating levels of estrogen is actually what makes us feel like our moods are fluctuating a lot. So when we eat at least two cups of dark leafy greens a day, we chew them well in our mouth, and then we ideally digest them well down below. So that's part of the reason to bring in some healthy fats with that, because it does actually help us to break down and absorb those nutrients. We are going to be able to have our liver process that estrogen more easily, and that can really help with balanced moods. So for many women, it is related to how well your body's detoxifying and processing these hormones. It's not necessarily always related to the levels and the decline that we are all experiencing as we move towards and into menopause. Recognizing that decline starts to be most noticeable for women as they get into their late 30s and beyond. So dark leafy greens, super important. They do contain some key nutrients. So they contain minerals, calcium, super important, not only for our hormone health and regulation, but also for our bone health as we move towards and into menopause. It contains iron. So irregular is very high in iron. Many women actually are deficient in iron as they get closer to that transition with menopause. Often women will have heavier periods um, and they will become more iron deficient. So a great way to get some of that iron in is from dark leafy greens as well, for sure. And it also is full of antioxidants. So what antioxidants do is they help us to buffer and balance inflammation. So for many of us, we actually have inflammation that is out of balance in our bodies for various different reasons. And it actually can really cause more imbalance with our female sex hormones. So the more antioxidants you can bring in from food, which doesn't just come from things like irregular, it comes from also our wide array of colorful fruits and vegetables. So the more color you have on your plate at every meal, the more antioxidants oxidants you have coming in. This buffers and breaks down toxins, doesn't allow us to form free radicals in our body, and it keeps our inflammation more balanced so that we can actually keep our hormones more in balance because they get processed easier. So again, especially that estrogen as it moves through the liver. Lots of great reasons for you to be looking to nutrition as one of your number one strategies to help you with hormone rebalancing as a female, especially if you are struggling with mood imbalance. It's certainly not the only thing that you can do. It is important for you to also do the proper lab testing to understand what could be going on with your hormone balance. So if you do have an imbalance between estrogen and progesterone, for example, and or your estrogen is not being processed efficiently in the gut or the liver, there are ways for us to understand this through lab testing. We can do urine testing. We can also do stool testing to see what is your body specifically doing with estrogen 
as it moves through the liver and then into the gut, is it being processed correctly? Is the excess being eliminated? Is there any excess and recirculated estrogen that actually could be causing more imbalance with your hormones? And if so, we can catch that on lab testing and then we can understand how to put some specific and individualized changes in place for you to support your liver and your gut. And this can do absolute wonders for your mood balance. It has nothing to do with HRT. Whether you think you may be a candidate for this or not, you really want to make sure that you have the nutrition and lifestyle strategies in place first, because you probably won't take on the HRT that well, unless you have some of these other systems of your body balanced, because they also need to be able to take on that HRT and process it and detoxify it and move it to where it needs to get to in the body and eliminate what needs to get out. I hope that helps you to have a bit better understanding of mood imbalance, potential mood swings, why they could be happening more so for you as you move towards perimenopause, that transition into menopause from your late 30s onwards, some of the symptoms that come up that are most common that are related to the mood imbalances, how it's impacting your life. I know it could be impacting it in several different areas. And then also, what are the strategies some things you could put in place right away? And then what are the things that you may need to work with a practitioner such as myself to understand specifically what's going on in your body in regards to hormone balance or imbalance in relation to moods and how to develop an individualized plan and strategy to get you feeling more calm and balanced in this time of life. If you feel like life is out of control, you feel like your moods are out of control along with it, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. It's probably not going to get better as you move towards and into menopause with the changes and the fluctuations and the hormones that are happening on the way to that, unless you really start to learn what's happening in your body and start to take charge of it now. I'm happy to help you with that. I'm a functional medicine practitioner that works with women all the time in their late 30s and beyond to help rebound balance hormones and get you feeling like your best self in this transitional time of life. So if you do want to reach out to me, please feel free to do so. You can do it a few different ways. You can go to my website at www.angelasimpsonfunctionalmedicine.ca. You can either contact me there through the contact link, or you can also book a free discovery call to understand if it could be a good fit for us to potentially work together. And if you haven't already, I highly recommend you go into Facebook and you look to join my Facebook group called Functional Medicine for Hormonal Imbalances. I have a group of over 6,000 women there that you can gain some support for being in a community that has women with like-minded problems, females that are transitioning towards and into menopause with symptoms. And I talk about solutions week after week in there through my Facebook lives and other materials that I'll provide to you on how you can learn how to start getting the balance back in your body naturally. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon. And I can't wait to bring more and more material to you as to how you can learn how to rebalance your hormones naturally as you move towards and into menopause and really start getting yourself feeling like your best self again. Thanks so much. Bye for now.